Hi, it's Maggie. I'm starting my December Memories Documented album, or December Daily, um, earlier than I normally do. Um, like last year, I didn't get to it at all because I was busy and then it was just like after the fact and then it didn't seem like special or I don't know. So I just wasn't into it. I'm doing it this year. And so I have this cut file that I purchased from Redefine Creative and I will link her shop in the description box. And so she sent it white and I just inked it. I wasn't going to blend it or anything. I just wanted the whole thing to be red. So I did that. And now I wanted that star to be sparkly and gold. So I put some foil on that, ran it through the mink, and look how nice, pretty. So the next step is I'm going to spritz it with some mist or not, or, you know, splatters. I think it's um, Tim Holtz's picket fence. And then um, this part's sped up quite a bit. I slow it down a little bit when I do like the harder type of stuff. So that's done. And just as I'm about ready to adhere it, I decide, oh, maybe I should pop it up. <laughs> so I pop it up. I don't make you watch all of that because that's a lot of foam pieces I have to cut. And then I don't make you watch me peel all the foam pieces either. So <laughs> it doesn't make for very interesting watch time. So I just peel a few and then there we go. And I think it would it looks much nicer um, popped up than just flat on the page. There we go. Um, my albums I normally do. Well, I started doing a six by eight, I think it was, and I just found that was too small. Um, so now I've moved on to nine by 12, and I really, really love that size for Christmas albums. So I'm just using some Christmas dots from Echo Park. And now... I don't have um, I guess it's 4 by 12 um, I don't have the proper page protector for that size for my title page so I'm making one with my fuse tool which I'm not a pro at by any means <laughs> but I'm fine with it. It's not perfect and neither am I, so. So I did that. Um, I have some slimline tape. I think I got it from scrapbook.com. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was scrapbook.com. So I'm just going to adhere some fringe on the side of that. And I do the same thing on the other side of the page protector. And I made this in August. This is October 26th. Or no, 27th. 20, ugh, who knows? It's October 27th. <laughs> um, and... I checked it just a few days ago, and it's still, um, it's still in good shape. It's still, the trim is still attached, and it's not 
frayed or anything. It's, it looks good. So now I'm doing the same on the other side. And there will be close-ups at the end. And this is basically my, my page one. The opening to our album. And this is really all I have done so far. <laughs> No, I take that back. I started page two, but it's, it's not a very, it's not done. I mean, obviously none of my pages are going to be done until after Christmas because I don't have any pictures and I get my pictures from Shutterfly. So it takes a little bit. So there's the close-ups and I love putting trim on page protectors. It's just such a nice touch. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.